Whether it's understanding your business expenses, learning your tax rate, calculating your total income and tax to be paid, or navigating the claims process, there is a lot to know about the tax process. Luckily, it's simple to sort out your taxes, and it can be done in three steps. First, establish your income. Then, identify your expenses and pinpoint your taxable income or profit. There is a difference between taxable income and income. Your taxable income is the amount left after you subtract the cost of your expenses. So, to work out your income, you should be clear on the type of income you are declaring. Options include trading revenue or PAYE. That covers income received from sales, service fees, or contract fees. Your investing income, whether it is from interest, portfolio investments, foreign invest funds, or crypto. Benefit income, which includes benefits or subsidies from government agencies and paid parental leave. PAYE and investment income are tax deducted at the sources. Benefits and other scheduler payments are not. Taxes paid in advance can be considered a prepayment or your annual tax bill. So if you are receiving a tax refund, you are being refunded money that you have overpaid in tax. To calculate your taxable income minus any business expenses. If you are operating a business at a loss, you will not pay taxes. The standard deduction for businesses is a flat rate of 28%. You can pay out a shareholder salary to pay taxes at an individual rate. Dividends may be preferable for very high income individuals. The Inland Revenue Department carefully monitors dividend payments to very high income individuals. So if you are paying yourself dividends, check their resources to make sure that you are operating within the law. Trusts get taxed 33% but can potentially be distributed to beneficiaries who then pay at an individual rate. This practice is carefully monitored, so make sure you understand your legal obligations. Even if you are using an accountancy service or cloud accounting platform. Understanding how the tax system works is the best interest of your business. There are great digital accounting tools like Henry that simplify your finances. But to make sure the records match, you should file your own tax return. This can be done through MyIRD, a secure, user-friendly way to determine the amount of tax you need to pay. A Realme account is one way for Inland Revenue to confirm your identity when you pay your taxes online. So setting up an account can streamline this process. To file your taxes, log on to MyIR, click on Returns and Transactions, and then File Return. Find your business industry classification code and enter it into the relevant field on the form, followed by relevant income types. Determine whether or not you need to file any secondary forms. Select whatever disclosures you need to make and fill out your self-employment income. Your residual income tax represents the amount of tax remaining you can expect to pay and you will receive a tax refund if your total tax credit is higher than your residual income. Tax avoidance carries significant risk of legal repercussions. So to protect your business and yourself, get in touch with Inland Revenue and use their resources to make sure you understand the process.